Good evening everybody out there in the World Wide Web. Welcome to tonight's webinar on HT pedals from Blackstar. I'm here to remind you this evening of just how great they are, how great they sound. And we're going to go through the whole range, uh, the six in the main range, which give you distortion, boost, overdrive, that kind of vibe. And then we've got three effects pedals as well. Now, the pedals that came out from Blackstar, the HT range, uh, were one of the first products that came to fruition for the brand. And it was really there to set the benchmark for everything else to follow. And seven years later, here we are, uh, with lots of fantastic products on show. And a bit later on, uh, in, the, in the next half hour, I'm gonna show you a little sneak on the new products that have just hit stores right, right this week. So you can get in and try those out. But um, importantly, when, when Blackstar came out, they came out with a very, very cool amplifier called the Artisan Range. I've got one down here, just on show this evening, but um, a really nice hand-wired boutique product. And also we brought out the pedals. Now, um, generally speaking, the effects pedals came later but we had some really nice overdrive and distortion pedals to choose from. Now, one of our main sales guys, uh, his spin, when he used to go into dealers to see people about this new brand called Blackstar, his opening line was often, uh, he had a pedal in his hand and he said, show me your most terrible amplifier you have in the store, the one that's been here a long time, with a, a thick layer of dust on and I'll make it sound really good. And that's the thing about Blackstar. Um, the main focus was giving you, the guitar player, a lot of flavor so you can get all sorts of sounds and make, for example, using a, a drive or maybe a, a HT Jewel um, in line with an amp, especially with the Jewel, you can convert a, a single channel amplifier into a three channel tone monster, so to speak. So it really, the focus is to give you guys all the sounds under the sun. So as far as the distortions and overdrives go, it really, you can probably tell what, what happens as you listen to them, but you get progressively more gain up to the point where we, we have the, the HT metal, which is pure, full on filth, if you like. But importantly, the one thing that I see everywhere around the world when I visit is that people still buy with their eyes and they don't buy with their ears. So it has to be a certain thing, or it has to do this, it has to look like that. The fact is, I'm gonna show you in a moment uh, the metal pedal, um, and I'm gonna show you that you can back off those gains, and it still becomes a fantastic blues rock distortion. So just because it says metal on it doesn't mean it's just full on metal all the time. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment. But the first thing's first, uh, I'm using a, a standard American telly, this evening, my, my, my guitar. And I'm going through um, our HT5 two by 10. So this is a five watt combo with two 10 inch speakers. Um, just to basically, obviously we have the choice of, of any amplifier we do here, but just to show you a, a good middle ground for someone. Um, the clean tone that we've got running currently, um, hopefully should represent uh, most people's decent clean sounds on your amplifier. So that's on my neck, the middle and the bridge. So that's giving you the root of what we're looking with, what we're working with tonight. So first things first, I've got the effects pedals as well going through the effects loop of the amplifier. Our HT5 series and all our HT venue series, as well as most of the stuff we do, has a send and return and effects loop. If you're not sure what an effects loop achieves, then most probably if you go to your local dealer, they'll be able to explain it to you, but they'll probably more than likely say, well, an effects loop is simply just for modulation, delay, reverbs, that kind of thing. Because what essentially you're doing is bypassing those preamp tubes. So you're not getting any of that pre-distortion or that saturation on your effects. So it's more of a pure sound. Um, I prefer it personally after being told when I was a, a young guy in a guitar store how it works. And when you put that kind of effect through the send and return, um, it really lets you um, get a much more pure uh, signal, if you like. So I've got the HT modulation, the HT reverb, and the HT delay going through the send and return. And also, I've got our HT boost. Now this is a really important thing. Hopefully, um, if you're watching and you're a dealer or a, a sales guy in a store, 
please use this demonstration that I'm going to show you with the boost through the loop because uh, a lot of people aren't aware of it and it will give you a true signal boost on anything from clean to high gain distortion. What happens when you put a boost in line, because I've got one this end to compare, um, is it will just add more saturation and distortion to those preamp tubes, that preamp distortion. It won't push the power tubes. So I'm going to show you the difference of what you can achieve and I've set them exactly the same. Um, but yeah, first things first, um, HT drive. So there's our clean sound. Now the, the, the gain stage is set around about quarter two there, just over. So this will give you a very kind of nice classic blues, classic rock kind of feel. But, um, the webinar, that was the pedal that was engaged. Now, our pedals use a tube. They use a ECC83, uh, and it's more commonly known as a 12AX7 tube. Um, so it really it gives you the feel of a, a true valve amplifier. Um, the HT uh, pedals, well, HT actually stands for high tension because the pedals are running at 300 volt DC, um, high tension HT. Um, so you can really. Fairly low volume, uh, yeah, so we're at fairly low volume here in the, in the studio at Blackstar HQ, but um, you can still get that response if you like. So I'm going to run through uh, each of the pedals one at a time, and after each one I'll shout what it is of course. So this is our drive. <laughs> So you can hear there that I actually got quite a lot of gain out of it. It's not just a drive pedal. I cranked the gain up full there and it gave me a very modern sounding rock tone. <coughs> Jewel, uh, one of our most popular pedals. Um, this gives you two stages of distortion. So on the first pedal you actually have a choice of clean or crunch. So there's a button there that you can choose so you can have a, a clean boost if you like. Um, I've currently got it set to where we left off with the drive. So my green channel <laughs> red channel so imagine having this on stage you've got two channels to choose from as well as your signal from your amp. So on each side of the pedal here we've got two cascading controls each looking after the gain and the volume for your first channel and the gain and the volume for the second channel. So if you want to you can push that second channel um, a little harder uh, and we can kind of get almost a boost for our lead if you like. <laughs> want more gain there I can have it so you can see it's very versatile um, and that's the HT Jewel uh, next if we back off that volume so we can com compare in a, a better sense um, here we go. Next on to the HT Dist. 
HT distortion. And you can probably tell where this tone's going as well. So I'll go from the jewel onto the dist. <laughs> So the game was set pretty much to the top there, so you can probably hear where that tone's kicking. Um, a nice classic rock stack. <laughs> Okay, so on from the Dist to the Dist X. Uh, the Dist X ultimately is a, a, a much kind of brutal rock sound, if you like, but works great for metal if you're detuning, uh, and great if it's backed off, still as a rock distortion overdrive pedal. So the gain on here, again, is at full, as well as the Dist, and I'll compare, I'll go from the Dist to the Dist X, okay? <laughs> Really nice, smooth, high gain distortion. But if I back that gain off, again, thinking about giving guitar players a lot of flavor. So it still acts as a really nice smooth drive as well. Now, um, the Jewel, the Dist, the Dist X, all have Blackstar's patented ISF feature, as well as the HT Metal, which we'll come to in a bit. Um, so you can shape your sand from that UK British vibe, a more kind of woodier open sand, to more of an American tighter uh, modern sand, if you like. So I'll, I'll move on the Dist X as, as an example. Um, I'll give it a bit more bite and I'll move around at the moment with more of an American mid scoop and I'll take it over to the kind of British side of things, okay? Hopefully you could tell a lot of tone will change there and I wasn't touching any of my three tone stack, my bass, my middle or treble. It was all ISF. So it really gives you uh, the, the chance to shape that sound in your head, which is what Black Star is all about. The boost on the far end, <clears throat> when you're running your amp clean, it's a great increase to give you a bit more bite, a lot more kind of gain if you like, more saturation to your preamp. So check this out, this is clean. Boost. So you can imagine through a large rig, a clean channel, that is a great pedal to put in the front. Um,
Now, if you add the boost to any distortion or high gain stuff, what it will do is just add more saturation and more noise. It won't give you the lift that most lead guitar players are searching for. So let me demonstrate that to you. I'll put the uh, dist on, I'll back the gain off a little bit, um, and then if I add the boost, you'll notice it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. <laughs> A very small difference and for the lead guitar players out there um, you, you really are looking for that huge lift to make the audience look your way when you're doing your thing so with the boost pedal set exactly the same as this one on the end here through the loop it's coming off the end of this uh, delay pedal um, it makes that difference so any guys in stores that are watching please use this as your demo it's all safe you can do it with any amplifier with a send and return um, and it will help you sell the pedals and get some money in the till, so to speak. So we're going with the, uh, the HT Dist again. High gain. <laughs> See, I mean, the settings, you'll have to take my word for it, but the settings are exactly the same. So, a great proposition. Um, usually, if you put it in line, it will work perfectly with clean and semi-driven blues tones, but high gain, it won't give you any lift, whereas through the loop, it will. Um, the effects pedals, just to show you where we're at with those, I love to use these through the loop, as we mentioned earlier. Um, I've got a really nice, lush reverb there. Drive. Let that gain off. So on each pedal there's eight settings. There's a very cool feature on these, if you don't know already, that is called either a dwell or a saturation. And it will basically feed a lot more voltage to the valve and give you a distorted signal for delay. So the first initial signal will be clean and then it will distort as it travels. So the modulation, for example, fantastic for keyboard guys. Um, you know, the tremolos, the choruses, the flange, the phaser that's on there. Uh, you can really kind of add it to a Hammond kind of vibe. Perfect for that. So just throwing some ideas at you. But basically, we've got our reverb there. Our delay, I'm set to a, a linear. We've got a nice chorus. nice clear responsive true sound it's almost as if it's just adding a bit of gloss to the sound it's not swallowing the tone of the amp um, if we if we push it with a, a drive pedal let's again dist x maybe this time <laughs> The 
reverb there. <laughs> And then I did chorus as well. Kind of a cool, cool kind of Zakwa sound uh, from the Aussie period, if you like. But yeah, great pedals, get into your dealer, Try them out. There's another important feature on the distortions and the overdrives is the emulated line out. And you're probably used to us saying that about other Black Star amplifiers, but it really gives you the opportunity to send your pedal and the sound of that high gain distortion direct into a recording device, a PA. Um, so not that we want to put anything in your mind that your amplifier will fail at a gig, but sometimes it happens. It's life. A tube might go, a fuse. If you aren't ready, then you can't do the gig. So what I'd like to put in your mind is that the distortions and the overdrives that we do in the HT range have an emulated line out that will allow you to finish the gig. Now I'm gonna demonstrate the HT metal through our small PA system. Okay, so we've got a couple of Yamaha studio monitors and a, a small four channel Mackie mixer at the back there. Um, and I'm going to show you what you can achieve from the emulated line out. So, let's, uh, swap cables. So, there's nothing going on apart from the pedal kicking into the, the mixer. <coughs> Touch of reverb on there just from the desk. So, imagine we're at the show. This is our big PA system. The engineer said, Well, I haven't got a spare amp, brother. What do we do? Just go and grab a beer, the next band's going to go on. You grab your pedal, you say, Can I have a DI? Direct input into the emulated straight in and you get this kind of sound so uh, for example the HT metal that we have here is very very similar to the dual um, we've got two cascading volume and gain controls three band EQ um, a clean boost or a drive option for the green channel and then we got black stars patented ISF to get our American or British tone but there's our clean sound direct through these speakers Channel two. Pretty insane, hey? If I just show you what a normal distortion will sound like through a PA or a, a mixer or a direct line, it sounds fizzy, it sounds horrible. Some people might dig it for the old school stuff, maybe you want some different sounds. But if we mute the channel and then go into the standard output and then turn the channel back on, <coughs> Generally, what a distortion or overdrive will sound like direct. Really fizzy. Again, emulated the true sound of an amplifier from this valve pedal. This is all that's running.
pretty insane, really. And when you've got it cranked through a big PA, amazing. Think about the demos when you're recording at home. Do you really need to crank the amp up? Direct, this would be amazing. HD metal. So that really brings us almost to conclusion for this webinar. Um, we appreciate you tuning in. Remember as always to follow us on all the social media avenues. There's uh, Blackstar on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and if you have any inquiries this evening or you'd like any advice, uh, my personal email is steve.marks at blackstaramps.com and also you can send an email to inquiries at blackstaramps.com. Um, right, so let's just mute that for a moment and take our cable out. This brings us up to date for our brand new practice amp that's just hit the market this week. So if you go into any of your local Blackstar stockists, check this amp out. For the first time in a long time, if I was still working in retail, it'd be the first time I'd really, in a, in a long, long time, take a customer who's maybe a seasoned player or a beginner up to an amplifier that's under that $200, $200 pounds price bracket and say, listen to this, this is something new. Um, so what we've got is three models. They're all stereo combos. So there's a stereo 10, which is this one, which is under that 100 pound price point. We've got a stereo 20 and a stereo 40 as well. Um, there's six Blackstar voices in there. We've got an emulated line out, stereo line out to connect to PA or headphones. Um, we've got an MP3 line in. Now, of course, because the speakers are full range, um, it really gives you the sense of a, a, a hi-fi or a boombox. It sounds fantastic as your iPod dock or for your tablet or your laptop. Um, we've then got our input. As I said, the six channels, you can also store uh, a preset or a voicing with effects and everything to your channel. We've got a gain and a volume and our patented ISF as our EQ and we've got 12 super wide stereo effects. So just to show you how great these sound, I'm just gonna show you what you can achieve. So if we just go to manual mode and we listen to something like a clean warm, Right. Crunch. Super crunch, maybe a little bit more gain. OD1 OD2 the riff right and I'm from Birmingham as well there you go um, and you can also store six presets as well so these are some of my presets to hopefully accent the sound of the amplifier. One thing I want to point out as well is that the two clean channels sound amazing if you turn the gain up. Let me just show you a clean bright, which is the first, first one that you kind of heard, really. A nice touch of reverb there. speakers at home you start to get a sense of that really wide but if I crank that gain up Nice uh, natural compression 
um, from the amplifier, which is an important feature for a pro guy, but uh, the beginners are going to love this as well. So let's look at, I mean, the fact that you can get these huge, huge amounts of uh, reverb as well, which is very pleasant if you're just jamming by yourself, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean that sound is just very pleasant if you're just jamming by yourself, that huge amount of decay to choose from. But let me show you some of my presets. This is clean warm with a, a fairly spacious delay on there. Clean warm, I've really cranked the gain to get that really nice Texas blues. <laughs> Crunch, there's a, a nice tremolo with a super wide delay to give it that really kind of spacious feel. Super crunch, I've gone for that uh, typical kind of high gain. Bit of chorus there, some delay. <laughs> There's a noise gate built in. You can actually turn that off via the software. The software that's compatible with this is our Insider software, which works with our ID series. Phrase Trainer, Tuner, Patch Library, Online Community, very, very cool. Deeper editing, so that comes with this as well. So, OD1. <laughs> And then lastly OD2 with a rather large delay just to accent that super wide stereo because if I'm at a trade show or a store it's really uh, sometimes quite noisy with the ambient noise around and you really need to kind of get that impression across very quickly so this is a really large delay. <laughs> So there you go, a great product, there's three in the range, make sure you go and check them out because they really have to be heard to be believed, if I'm honest. Um, hopefully you'll get the point across through your home laptop speakers. But again, thank you for watching. Um, I've been Steve at Blackstar and we'll see you next time. So keep it rocking, keep it loud and crank those Blackstars.
Cheers.